all right so welcome back to my channel guys today I'm coming to you guys to show you exactly what you need to do in order to make your own hand sanitizer this is a World Health Organization recipe so let's get started all right so the ingredients you need to begin is you're gonna need 91% uh, alcohol now I know that a lot of people are saying that this is sold out in their stores so if you get something that is at least 60% or greater in strength, you should be okay. But I would recommend at least getting a 70% or higher. So that way you know that it's going to be effective. Now, 91%, um, I think 99%, some people have been able to get their hands on that. So the higher the strength, the better, the uh, more effective the product is going to be. Now, of course, aloe vera gel, 3% hydrogen peroxide. And I use these essential oils around the house, so I already had them. But... You're going to need tea tree oil and you don't have to use this, but I like the scent of lavender. So I'm going to use it as well because it has antimicrobial properties as well as uh, antibacterial properties as well. Then I have a measuring cup here and I have two containers to put my hand sanitizer once I've made the product. So we have our three fourth cups of alcohol. We're going to add in one fourth cup of aloe vera gel and then we're going to add in one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide fifteen drops of essential oil And this is the tea tree oil. And then 15 drops of the lavender essential oil. Mix it well. And once you have it mixed, it should have the same consistency as hand sanitizer. Now you want to go ahead and fill your containers up with your homemade hand sanitizer. And there you have it. All right, so now that you've made your own hand sanitizer, Please remember that this should not take the place of hand washing. So warm water and hand soap for at least 20 seconds will do the trick. Alright, so stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.